Hello, everyone, and welcome to Season 10 of Next Top Singer. This season is a very special edition where all-stars, as well as past winners, are competing against regular contestants. Auditions may still be open, so please check the description for updated information. If you make it in, you will be competing with different themes in each round and collaborating with other singers in a group round. You will receive honest feedback from the judges and scores from 1 to 10 in every round. A number of singers will be eliminated in every round until the winner remains. Our winner leaves this competition with the coveted title and the $300 prize. The judges are... Petri Sukanimi, a composer from Sweden. Aria Bunny, a classically trained singer from Utah. And Emma Burlton, a recording artist from jolly old England. A longer introduction of the judges is linked in the description below. For the casting round, we will show you a couple of featured auditions, and everyone else will receive their results in the documents listed below. So check it out. To make it in, you have to get a yes signal from at least two of the judges. Two no signals means you are out. If you make it in, please read the description for instructions, and don't forget to confirm your role. My name is Patrick Maddox, and without further ado, let the competition begin. This or nothing way of loving got me slipping without you. Now I need somebody to know, somebody to heal, somebody to have, just to know how it feels. It's easy to say, but it's never the same. I guess I kinda like the way you help me escape. Now the day bleeds into nightfall, and you're not here to get me through it all. I let my car down, and then you put a rug. I was getting kinda used to being someone you love And I tend to close my eyes when it hurts Sometimes I fall into your arms I'll be saving your sound till I come back around so welcome back, Huni. You have dynamics in this, which is great, and a clean tone. Falsetto is clearly your strong point, but I expected belting in the bridge. The song needs that dirtiness to really take us into the raw emotion. And the diction could be better as well. Some cuts were obvious, if I'm being nitpicky as well. And I do hope to hear some K-pop from you this season, because every season is a clean slate, so at this point I'm like, Huni who? I don't know anything about you, so... You really need to show who you are as an artist as well, which I'm sure it's not going to be a problem for you. Hi, Huni. Welcome back. This sounded very professional and polished. I would like to see something a little more raw from you this season. Oh. Yeah, not much, but that's what I thought. Okay. Um, yeah, I would agree that um, I feel like it's a little bit overprocessed for a first audition. Um, oh, I would yeah. have liked to see something a little more like pulled back, a little more, uh, you know, up close and personal. But, you know, like the other judges said, you know, the, the pitch is, is locked on, the tone is there. I did feel the emotion of the song. And I mean, there was more than enough dynamics to make this a very strong audition. So, yeah, welcome back. I like that I am in the middle of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That was kind of the way with Andrea and Mark as well, or most of the time. Am I going to be the Mark of the season? <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't been so far. Oh, just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Sean McClurg. I'm a 21-year-old college student from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and the song that I will be auditioning with is Fly Me to the Moon, originally performed by Frank Sinatra. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on a Jupiter and Mars. In other words, I hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. I'm sorry, I ran out of time for my audition, but uh, if you want to hear the rest, just uh, pick me. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh wow! Oh, we have a contention, Aria. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What? I don't. I don't know if it's my bias for this song or not. Is it the jazz? It is. <laughs> not entirely. <laughs> do you like jazz? I do like jazz a lot. Yeah, but I know this is the most overused audition song in the entire show. So really I definitely is. see where you're coming uh, from. Okay, I'll go ahead and comment on this one. I wasn't yeah. planning to. But I will. Fly Me to the Moon is one of the most sung auditions on this show. And it seemed like Sean was copying the original artist style, which made the timing awkward and didn't really allow him to showcase his own emotion and his own style throughout the whole piece. So the pitch was on and the tone and rasp was great, but I couldn't get behind the forced copying of the the original artist style. So I do agree with you there. I think with this song being so oversung, like you really should be trying to make it your own and do something different with it. And I, I think that is an expectation that this song should be performed really, really well if you want to do it. I do think that it was good enough for an audition. Um, and I think personally, like I think that the pitch was on point. I feel like he had a very good tone and a very good characterization of the song. It's just the dynamics were very lacking for me. It's very samey throughout. But I think it's good enough to to get to the next round and see, you know, what else can Sean do with his voice? Yeah, I think I pretty much agree with both of you, actually, because I didn't have any notes on the emotion. And generally, if I exclude a point, then that means I didn't get that point. So I didn't get that much emotion from this as well. But yeah, like I said, this is the most overused audition song, but I still think your voice suited this song. I love the baritoneness and your vocal fry. It was a little bit pitchy, but overall very nice, actually. They were vibrato was this old-fashioned sounding vibrato which suited the song but like Emma said you need more dynamics and I think you also need some more range. By the way spoken intro and outro doesn't count towards the max limit so you had more time you could have used to really take this to the next level a little bit more at least but it's still a yes yeah I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done! <laughs> <laughs> Is it really me you're missing? Or am I the only one who listens? Out of these high hopes and low blows I hope you know just how much it hurts to believe you I should cut this off but I need you And I should help myself But I can't help myself Oh, is it really me who miss it? Or am I the only one who listens to you? Oh, and if I pick up the phone tonight Will it be pieces by the morning? Oh, oh, am I the only number that you tried? Or is it another lonely night? Uh, my name is Crow, by the way. Hope you all have a good night. Or day. Oh, wow, wait, I pasted the wrong score. <laughs> It's actually oh, wow. a green score for me this time. Oh, And interesting. Yeah, I actually suspected that you were going to vote no on this. So, yeah, I already colored it blue because I knew it was gonna be a contention. But let <laughs> let me explain, guys. So, okay. for, so first off, Crow, I think the diction is non-existing. I didn't understand a word you sang. But I like this sudden transition to falsetto, but it was also pitched throughout and nasal. I like the growls and you have energy. I really like the tone and that's my biggest sticking point here. I did not like this audition overall but that voice deserves at least one more chance in my opinion because you have potential. You should work with a mentor about the issues mentioned if you go on to round two with you. Unfortunately did not but <laughs> that was my comment anyway. So I actually didn't enjoy the tone. Um, it oh. feels very unnatural to me. It feels like like he's trying to push his voice into a place that maybe it doesn't naturally sit. And that does worry me when it comes to the health of his voice um, and also what else he can present. Um, I felt like overall the audition was shaky. It needs more control. He needs to be supporting his voice better. And I felt like the pitch was falling off in places, which really just sealed the deal for me. While I do think that you crow have potential, I also think that this just isn't ready yet. I did enjoy 
with the rasp, but the pitch is off in a lot of places, and the song as a whole was really jarring for me. And when there is no breath support on the high notes, you're really going to be straining your vocal cords, which is something that I don't think that you have learned to uh, not do. So I didn't feel like I could in confidence pass this off. Yeah, and my 4.5s are in the middle and they could go either way. So I guess I'm not going to fight too hard about this. But I did hear a really nice tone towards the end. It was this tone with a lot of resonance. And this is really detailed, but at uh, around the 40 mark to 47 or something, when he sings oh, oh, that was a tone that I really liked. So what do you think about that part at least? 43 to 47. Mm. I do feel like that part showed a nice amount of like emotion and expression. Yeah. And I do agree that there is definitely potential there with the voice. I just, I would have liked to hear that throughout the whole audition as opposed to just at the end. Oh, okay. I yeah. completely agree with Emma. Mm. I suppose I find it easier to uh, latch on to small details in stuff and then have that as the deciding factor. But I guess sometimes you need to have that throughout the song or it's not going to be very convincing. So, all right, I will let him drop. But you are so welcome back if we ever do a season 11. Take me to snorch, I'll worship like a snail at the shrine of your light. I'll tell you my snin so you can snarp in your snife. Offer me that sneathless death, oh good god, let me sneep you my snife. Take me to snorch, I'll worship like a snail at the shrine of your light. I'll tell you my snin so you can snarp in your snife. Offer me that sneathless death, oh good god, let me sneep you my life. Ooh. Okay, we can. Okay, we kind of agree, but I still want to talk about why. Oh, you can. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, see, you have a good sense of humor, and it made me chuckle a bit. But this is not an audition song because this is not a comedy competition. I mean, I want the artist here to really move me emotionally, and I don't feel like you can really do that if you already go into this with this kind of energy. This is a very popular song if you do it like the original. So it was really a missed opportunity for me. Your voice was also throaty because you have the wrong technique. The pitch was okay though, so that's why it's a three rather than a one. Um, I completely so... agree. Oh, do you want to go? <laughs> yeah, I'll go. Okay. So I am all for a joke audition. I have done one and I <laughs> particularly <laughs> am in favor for them and like them. The coconut nut is a giant nut. If you eat too much, you'll Get very fat. Very fat. But this definitely was not a good audition piece because overall it was very shaky and it felt like you weren't able to support what you were trying to do. Yeah. Yeah, I completely agree there. I think there's a certain way to go about doing more sillier songs. I mean, we all know that Arya did a bit of a silly song, but, but that wasn't killed a real, it with the a vocals. real audition. <laughs> I mean, even so, I feel I feel like you know the the vocal were there the harmonies were there like you know if you if you're gonna do a silly song you have to bring it together and really yeah, right. showcase your voice to overpower the fact that the song is not serious and i just i feel like you know the the voice wasn't where it needed to be it was out of control the dynamics were non-existent and i think the only thing i can say is i do not want to go to snatch <laughs> <laughs> no, not me either. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Snail church, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay, that was awesome. That was really good. <laughs> okay. Hey, come here, snooch. <laughs> <laughs> They call the rising sun And it's been the ruin of many a poor boy And God, I know I'm one Now mother, tell your children Not to do what I have done Oh, spend your life in sin and misery In the house 
of the Rye Zing Sun <gasps> Oh my god Aria <gasps> Aria, we have the same mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, do you want to go first, Aria? Because I don't think you have. Okay, okay. yes. Let me go ahead mm -hmm. and find my notes. <laughs> Brandon, I actually listened to this before you popped up into the Discord and said that you no longer go by BB. And so I was shocked and awed at this audition that somebody who had never heard of Next Top Singer went slid through and performed this but then I was even more excited to figure out that it was you I was super impressed and this audition brought me everything that I was looking for yeah I mean Brandon you are you are so welcome back you have exceptional runs in this I love that a great power a cool grit and you showed the softness too so it was very dynamic. The song choice is kind of questionable to me because it can easily be boring for a singing competition but you made this your own so I can't really fault you for that. I tried really hard to find holes in this and I don't really like to do this so early because I think there should be room for growth but I have no choice but to give this a 10. I mean this ticks all of my boxes for an acapella audition. Brandon, I mean your voice is impressive. It is so impressive. This may be uh, my favorite performance of the auditions so far you know we've still got time between the runs uh, the cries that you have on those high notes to really push the emotion the characterization the sass that you have throughout the whole song the growls the vibrato I mean you had everything there for me um, and I think you are going to absolutely kill it in the competition so very well done so I in an attempt <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like you said, we have to leave room for improvement. It's my top score thus far, but I think there's still more you can do. I think there's still, you know, ways you can push your voice to reach that 10. Okay. I just want to see more. Sure. But Aria, as much as I agree with your goal right now, we can't have best performances until all auditions are. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> then it's it's not my best yeah. performance. JK, but it's definitely JK. my favorite so far. And uh, usually when someone gets that score, it usually only happens once in the whole casting process. So likely he's going to be best performance, but we're going to have to wait and see. No, we we don't have all of them. He's not going to be best performance. <laughs> it's now <laughs> solidified in stone. <laughs> <laughs> Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on a Jupiter and Mars. In other words, Hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, Please be true. In other words, I love you. Has any one of you seen Friends? I no. mean, the series? Yes. Yeah. Do you remember when Phoebe meets Mike's parents and she goes, Theodore, Bitsy? Theodore, Bitsy. <laughs> delight <laughs> i mean i always think about that when i see, when i hear theodore yeah but that's besides the point i think frank sinatra is turning in his grave about this audition because it, it was flat throughout you have no emotion or energy and this is the most overdone audition song like i have said so it is already hard enough to stand out with it enough as it is on the lowest note on adore it was vocal fry with no real notes song and that's kind of a sheet because it shows no range you need to sing in a higher key and train pitch control remember that it is okay to change keys of songs you have a nice tone of voice though my dislike for fly me to the moon is no secret 
And while I do appreciate your rich and deep tone, there is no vocal control and this piece was flat throughout and there was no emotion behind the song. It sounded like you were singing it just because it was something to sing, but it was nothing that you were connected to. That's a really good point about feeling connected to the song. I feel like Frank Sinatra is one of those things where you either have it or you don't. And I feel like in this case, it just was not the song. Like Petri said, the the tone was lovely. I, I really enjoyed the tone of your voice. Um, I just felt like you were struggling to find the key throughout, which may just be a case of needing to, um, as was said before, change up the key, find something that's more comfortable. And I just feel like this isn't the right audition song because it really doesn't give much in terms of dynamics. Mm. And especially in this audition, it just felt flat. It felt ordinary. You know, no hate to the voice, but this is the kind of song that you can listen to in the background and not really pick anything out out of it, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree with that. Hello, my name is Tyler. I am 16, and for my audition, I will be singing the song Noel's Lament from Ride the Cyclone. For I sing songs until the break of dawn. I embrace a new man every night. My life's a never-ending carnival. A world of boozy floozy flashing light. I want to be that messed up girl and be that messed up girl. 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 Girl, if I could have just one dream, I'd be that messed up girl. Oh my god, okay. Another <laughs> contention. <laughs> okay, um, I guess we're gonna call this blue then. So Tyler, I feel like um, you were struggling to lock the pitch in throughout, and those high notes were really out of control. Um, I feel like you were just struggling to find the support in order to really drive through those notes. Personally, I did not enjoy the vowel shapes you were making, especially in those moments where those notes were going up and down quite rapidly, and I feel like your diction was lacking in some places. It was hard to understand what you were singing. Overall, I think you have really great potential. I just think that you need more time to work on yourself to really support your voice, nurture your voice, and grow it to a point where, you know, you could come back next season and kill it. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I mean, my fives are kind of average, so I don't have a strong opinion about this, but I said, welcome back, Tyler. I think your mic is below average, so you should really look into a better mic. Your runs are out of control, but you have an interesting tone with good projection. I'm not super excited about this because you needed to be more on pitch and a better song choice. This really exposed your weaknesses with runs. Song choices should expose your strengths. It was still good enough for me for round two though. Ooh. Hi Tyler and welcome back. I have to say that your enunciation has vastly improved this audition piece, but I am of the opinion that I liked your audition piece from last time more. The song choice was wasn't really for you and I feel like the reverb was very distracting and there was a lack of vocal control especially with the pitchiness of the runs and the loss of control in your extended notes. All right I'm not going to fight about that like I said. You ain't nothing but a hound dog I just crying all the time well, I ain't nothing but a hound dog, I just trying all the time. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Well, they said you was high class, well, that was just a lie. Well, they said you was high class, well, that was just a lie. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. <gasps> oh my god, oh yeah. <laughs> What? I told Emma she wasn't the mark of this season. <laughs> what Not the yet. hell? No, I have to go first because this review shouldn't start negative. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. So, Aaron, are you Elvis's grandson? I mean, are you actually related to him? Because obviously a voice like this goes straight to round two, but you are going to have to show more dynamics and range next time. You have an amazing low range, but I wonder how versatile you can be. Is being an Elvis copy enough 
enough to win and a nitpick it was a pretty abrupt cut in the end so you need to polish your next entry um and then i just wrote well and i don't remember what that was a short for <laughs> 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 yeah because i have only written keywords and sometimes i forget what i meant by the keywords and that's really unfortunate oh no, no. <laughs> well okay you need to polish your next entry well no i'm just gonna skip that well <laughs> 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 and use your full time because this was very short. Yeah. All right, I'll go. Mm. I'll mm -hmm. just rip off the band-aid. Hi Aaron, I appreciate a Elvis Presley piece in here. However, I didn't feel like I got a lot out of it. Your tone in vibrato is very clear and very nice, but I felt like the whole piece suffered from a lack of emotion and how it was more melodic speaking than anything and I almost wish that this was the TikTok version of this song where <laughs> you could really <laughs> take it and go flying with it. I don't even have TikTok so I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm not sure about that version either. <laughs> oh, it, the the TikTok version is uh, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. I get it. Oh, you're oh. talking about the Doja Cat song. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. that's my Doja Cat. Interesting. No, I prefer the original. <laughs> But no, um, hi Aaron. I don't have too much to add on to what the other guys have said, but I worry that this isn't a good representation of you. I think this is a very strong Elvis impression, but I do have concerns about where your voice is going to be going forward. Um, doing different songs, you know, showing more aspects of your voice. I mean, with any kind of impression, I feel like the tone is normally forced. So I don't know if it's a natural voice that you have, or if you were obviously putting that voice on for Elvis. But I felt like you had a very nice tone. I felt like it was very under control. Um, it was a pleasant listen. And really, my yes is to see, can you take this further? And what else can you do? Okay, fair enough. I mean, you have to have your own expression as an artist. You can't just be a copycat. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Petri likes his copycats, though. <laughs> <laughs> but what he did was awesome, still. I mean, how many can do a convincing Elvis impression? You have to have I, a voice there. I definitely there. can. You have to have a voice there. Oh, Emma, I do want... I so <laughs> want to hear your version, then. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 oh, what a cop up. Okay, anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> <laughs> To get a new computer, I have to get a new Oh, everything. yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I suppose I, I wasn't too far off, but one really? What? Okay, Aria, you have, you have to go first. Just rip <sighs> the band aid off. That's why I had to mark it as a comment. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh man. So, Dylan, when I first heard this song, I actually thought it was a joke. I don't know if it is a joke or not, because I hear something in your voice that I want to hear and I want to keep on listening to, but the harmonies were so disjointed and you were hurting yourself by singing in falsetto that I couldn't help but give this one of my lowest scores because 
vocal health is one of the biggest concerns of mine, and you should not be forcing yourself that much. But I'm also angry because there is something about your voice that I want to keep on listening to, and I wish you had put in a serious audition if this was indeed a joke like I am thinking it was. What do you mean one of the lowest scores? Do you have anything lower than a one? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so Dylan, I actually agree with Aria, but I'm not going to be as harsh with the score at least. The voice cracks cracked me up. I mean, don't do harmonies if you can't keep on key because it only makes it all worse. If I listen carefully, I can hear some decent vocals buried in there, in the chaos, but you ruined it with unnecessary harmonies. It became disharmony actually. It was way too ambitious for you. The mid-range was okay though, but like Aria said, don't push the falsetto. That's not nice. Yeah, I completely agree there. I feel like the harmonies really was what ruined it for me. The The high harmony was so shaky, cracking and off key. And it's a shame because listening to your main vocal, I felt like there was something really wonderful there. But the fact that the harmonies were all slightly off in places and it was so disjointed, it took away from my enjoyment and being able to really listen to and analyze your main vocal. Yeah, harmonies is a slippery slope. And we have the two harmony queens on the panel, so they really know what <laughs> they're talking about. <laughs> Harmonies were both of your strong points. I'm a shooting star right into the sky Like a tiger to find the laws of gravity I'm a racing car passing by like Lady Godiva I'm gonna go, 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 there's a stop in me I'm burning through the sky, yeah 200 degrees, that's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit I'm traveling at the speed of light I wanna make a supersonic man out of you don't stop me now I'm having such a good time I'm having a ball Don't stop me now If you wanna have a good time Just give me a call Don't stop me Cause I'm having a good time Don't stop Yes, I'm having a good time I don't wanna stop at all Yeah, I'm a rocket ship On my way to Mars On a collision course I'm a satellite Okay, well, are we going to be disagreeing about every entry from now on? <laughs> we don't <Yes>. have time. <laughs> okay, should I begin then? Because I have the most positive review. <laughs> Only if you want to. Only if you don't want to let him go. <laughs> okay, so Jonathan, I give you extra points for the energy. And energy is something very important to me. So I rank that quite high in my scoring system. This song needs a lot of energy. So well done for that. Your mic is peaking though. And in the middle, you changed key unintentionally. I hear a potential bell to hear, but there's just no control. Your soft singing is very off-key, but I love singers who really try pushing it. There are too many singers here that are scared of doing that, so that's why I have to put you through. Overall, this was difficult to judge because the performance was a little bit all over the place. It was very pitchy, and while I enjoyed your strong voice and the power that I felt through this, power is not the only thing that's going to pass you through in this competition and I really would have liked to hear not a normal song from you but uh, something where it could showcase your strengths more than this. Yeah I don't have too much to add on to that. Um, I felt like the breath control was lacking and I did hear some vocal strain as opposed to a more healthy rasp. The pitch wasn't terrible but there were definitely moments where it was noticeably off and I just felt like it was the wrong choice uh, of song to showcase your voice. It felt very fast paced, it felt very samey, uh, and as said before, I felt like he was struggling with the belts a little bit. So I'd maybe look at the song choice in the future, and just making sure that you're taking good care of your voice. I suppose you need more than energy. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more auditions in the next episode. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.